Today I'd like to show you what I believe is one of Google's best kept secrets. It is a tool called Google Keep. It's a great tool to use for your classroom or even for personal use. So if you go to your Google Drive, go to the little waffle icon over at the top right of your window. If you'll click on that, you will see several apps. You do not see Google Keep here, so you need to go to More. And here's Google Keep. You will click on Google Keep, and it opens up a window that looks like this. These are all the Google Keep notes that I have in my Google Drive. So if I want to make a note, I click on Take a Note. I'm going to call, I'm going to title this one To Do List. And I'm going to go down here and several things I can do. The first one I want to do, I want to have a checklist so that I can check off things as I've accomplished them. So I'm going to go here to show check boxes and I might say um, read my homework, maybe um, email my teacher. Once I get all the things done on it, several options I can do here. If I want to be reminded of something, I can go here and click on Remind Me, and I can pick when I want it to remind me. Maybe I want to pick a date and time if I want to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to pick the date, the time, and don't have a repeat. If I want to, I can choose pick a place. So maybe I want to remember something whenever I get to work. So I'm going to put in the address for my office and when I arrive at this location it will remind me don't forget to whatever it is I have set my reminder my Google save reminder my Google keep reminder for so I'm going to save that. I can also collaborate with others on this so I can share my keep list with Jody, with Amy, and I'm going to click save. And now those people can also add and delete things from my list. I can make my Google Keep a, a different color to make it easy for me to for it to pick out. If I wanted to put a an image at the top of it, like these two um, Keep notes below have, I can go here to add image. If I don't want to delete it, but I want to archive it, I can go here and put it in my archived um, Keep notes, which are down here. If I delete one, it's in the trash. Other choices, here I can delete it. If I wanted to add a label and all of the things that had to do with my classroom could um, be under that label, I could do that. I could add a Google drawing to it. I can hide the check boxes. I can also copy it to a Google Doc. If it's a note that I want to always be at the top, I can click on this pen and pin that note. You can see here that these um, notes below that have the little blue pen on them are pinned, meaning that they will always be at the top. These are not. So if I wanted this one to remain at the top, I can pin that. Maybe I want this um, smart note to, I can reorder them. If I wanted this one to be at the beginning, I can just click and drag those. So those are all things if and you could make these collaborative between your colleagues, your co-teachers, or maybe there's something you're working on with a student that you want them to be able to collaborate on. You can do the same thing there. So Google Keep is a great tool for you to use in your classroom.